Hello there and welcome to this Zanut TV special report. I'm Nick Peters. Now I wonder if you know where I'm talking about. It has 1,800 manufacturing companies employing 26,000 people. And in terms of manufacturing, it's the third largest centre in the country by local authority area? Well, the answer is the city of Leeds. Now, every year it holds the Leeds Manufacturing Festival. This year, of course, events have been knocked sideways by the pandemic. So let's find out what's going to happen in Leeds this year instead and welcome Graham Cooper, who is intimately involved in the planning. Graham, a warm welcome to you. Good afternoon, Nick. Pleased to be here. Graham, before we get going about you know, what's going to happen this year. Uh, tell us what the Leeds Manufacturing Festival traditionally does. OK, well, th this would have been our third year. So in the first year, when we started off, we, we knew we had a problem reaching out to young people and getting them to know that manufacturing existed. Um, but we'd never done anything remotely before. So we imagined we would focus mainly on factory tours so that's what we set about to do. Um, we signed as many manufacturers up as we can. But as we went through the, uh, the year 2018, we found the harsh realities of life when you're dealing with schools, which is where all the young people are, is that schools find it very difficult to get out and about. It's, it's a, a big deal for a school. And we actually, we had far more um, traction in reaching young people by going in and talking to assemblies or having careers panels in front of a, you know, a couple of year groups. So we, we managed to get in many of the schools in Leeds uh, and speak to the young people about manufacturing and open their eyes to the scale of it in Leeds. Um, so last year, we knew that we wouldn't, we'd still have factory visits where schools could get out, but the we focused on getting involved with the schools and we signed up with a, uh, an educational um, establishment to put us in touch with all the careers teachers. Um, and we, we spent loads of time in schools last year, lots of manufacturers. There'd be about 40 odd manufacturers involved from the city. So that was that sounded like you were making real progress. And then 2020 came along and COVID uh, got in your way and has blocked your path. So what's going to happen now? What can you possibly do? Yeah, well, we came into this year um, pre-COVID, of course. And in the early part of the year in February, Leeds holds an apprentice fair in Leeds Arena. So it's, it's a great big event. And uh, there's about, I don't know, six or 7,000 young people come along. And so we started off the year knowing this was all happening. We've got a big stall on and we've got about eight or nine manufacturers on board. And we had a really good start of the year. And we thought that's got us going. Then, of course, along came COVID. Um, and that's really has knocked everybody for six. Um, we used the contacts and that that we had. We've had a few videos made, which you can see on the website, which show how some of the businesses are dealing with COVID. We thought that might be useful for other manufacturers to look at. Um, and just latterly, we've now started to try and plan some events, but they will all be virtual events, rather like this meeting that we're having now. Um, so I'm in the process of contacting all the people who got involved last year to see what they're able to do. Um, and some are not able to do anything this year. They've been hit by COVID. They've got people um, self-isolating. They've had cases and they just don't have any free time. Others are very, very keen to still get involved virtually. So we'll try and do virtual school visits and, uh, and have virtual careers panels. So we'll be setting those up in the next couple of weeks and then we'll run, we're not fixed to a very short time scale. So we'll run them right through into next year, uh, academic year. Graham, as always with these things, it sounds like a small number of people are trying to do an awful lot of work. Um, and you are obviously one of them. Uh, what message would you like to send out to other manufacturers in the Leeds area who may not know of what you're doing, or anybody else who can lend a hand, because this sounds logistically like it's going to be quite a lot of heavy lifting. Yeah, the, the thing that we need, I mean, we were very pleased we've had uh, 40 or 50 manufacturing companies involved, which enables us really to 
do something with all the schools who want to get involved. I think there's 60 high schools in the Leeds area. Um, but there's 1,800 manufacturing companies in Leeds. So there's an awful lot of manufacturers just not lifting their heads up. And the thing is, nobody knows they're there. Um, you speak to almost anybody in Leeds and they wouldn't know we were a strong manufacturing city. We don't have one of the huge manufacturers like British Aerospace or Rolls-Royce or something like that that attract the attention. Um, but we have got a huge number of manufacturers. So we will welcome any manufacturer in Leeds who wants to get involved in any amount of way. Go on the website, fill in the contact form, and that finds its way to me. Okay, well, the website uh, address is just underneath us on the frame. So uh, anybody getting that message, please go to that website. Graham, you and I had a chat on LinkedIn after I posted an article um, which really reflects what you just said. The article was titled, Does Anybody Know You're There?, which is about how manufacturers basically have become invisible in this country because mostly now they operate from industrial estates, business parks, away from the city centres where they used to be based when there were things like mills and shipyards and so on. Um, I said at the time that local people should get to get, local manufacturers should band together more uh, to let people know they're there. And it sounds to me like Leeds is doing that with the Manufacturing Alliance, but you're saying that you're still missing a bit of, of the profile that manufacturing needs in a, in a city that is booming with manufacturers. Yeah, it, it's a strange thing. If you're not in manufacturing, I don't know somebody who's in it, you really don't know it exists. It's, it's a surprising phenomenon. And that article that you wrote... Um, absolutely chimed with me is I could have almost written that for the presentation that I did in 2018 when we were kicking off you had a big picture of an old ship a big ship being produced I had photographs of factories all in disarray and, and old Victorian factories and said this is what people think manufacturing is and it's amazing I took those slides around careers teachers and that in Leeds and they're all nodding their heads that, yeah, yeah, manufacturing is dead and that is what it is. And then I show another slide, which is if you go on Google Images and type in manufacturing leads, what you see is something completely different. Uh, and people are just amazed that it exists in the city. So those manufacturing companies who are doing this in and around Leeds should shout about it, get the brightest and best young people into their businesses. That is absolutely the point, Graham, absolutely the point. And, uh, you know, I hope the more people that uh, see uh, interviews like this, maybe read my article, it's on LinkedIn, and uh, I'll put the link actually up as well so people can go and find it. I, I just think that it's really important that uh, the more manufacturers that speak out about what's going on in our sector to the local people, um, just so that local people are aware they can you know, infuse their children or their grandchildren about manufacturing um, and, of course, schools. I think you're doing a wonderful job, Graham, and particularly as you've got a, a terrific UTC up there, which you're part of as well. That's a university technical college. Yes, that's, that's now been open, I think, four years now. Uh, I was on the uh, founding group of employers who got together to help get that funded, and I still sit on the governing body. Well, that is, a, that is a testament to your uh, enthusiasm and your drive in getting this message across. And we wish you all the very best for the 2020 version of the Leeds Manufacturing Festival. Anybody in the area, please do get in touch with Graham, offer your services, get involved. And maybe, who knows, maybe you'll find some talent, bright talent out there amongst the young people of Leeds. Graham, thank you very much for joining us. OK, thank you very much, Nick, for giving me the the platform on which to pronounce. <laughs> Good show. Thank you, Graham. And uh, thank you for watching. I uh, hope to see you next time. This has been a Zanuk TV special report.